Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, well, I had a little problem over the weekend with my Saab Goblin uh, 500. Uh, luckily, it didn't result in a crash, but it could have. I had this problem uh, with the 500 T-Rex 2, and the problem was uh, the bearing pulling out of the swash plate. And what I did with this... Well, the way you can tell if it's happening is you're going to start hearing your links uh, if your pitch rod's rubbing. You're going to hear a weird sound when you spin, spool your blades by hand like a scraping sound. And that's because the bearing underneath partially pulls out and then it's cocked up in the air. And that's what causes that. So Saab decided to put one screw in a washer on one of the, you know, you have your two ailerons in your elevator. Didn't make much sense to me why they only put one, because where it lifted was on the other side. So, what we did was I took this to work. You can use either a C-clamp and use it by hand with a couple pieces of wood. You put it across there. You have to take this out, these four screws, and you take this part of the swash out. And then you can lay a piece of wood there and across here and you can squish the bearing back in there. These are poorly fit from the factory guys. That's why they pull out. They're not done right. When we do these press fit bearings at my uh, shop where I work, we heat them up and they're done right. These are not done right from these factories. Uh, so what we did was we drilled like they should have done at Saab. <laughs> another hole where the other aileron and the other elevator was and then you can uh, we use the number 50 drill and then you can tap the hole and then you want to use from an align kit the feathering shaft uh, 450 Pro you want to use the screws and the washers those flat washers right there and they screw right in and then we used uh, one of the uh, toughest Loctites, the green one, the high, high strength for our, our we work in the uh, aircraft industry. That's what we use. And hopefully this thing won't pull apart again. So if anybody has this happen and wants to do this mod, that's how you do it. You take a little prick punch, you make a little a prick starter, a little tiny hole so you can start your drill. We actually drilled these with a hand drill, like a Makita, or whatever you have, Craftsman. And just make sure you drill them straight, and don't get too, too close to the side of the wall where the bearing is. Okay. And that's what we did to fix it, and now I'm going to put it back together. But uh, this was defective from the factory. The Align ones have done it on occasion. These now have done it. I thought Saab would be a little bit more high quality, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, so, I heard from my friend who's a pro flyer that they're going to start doing this. Some helicopter, helicopter, excuse me, helicopter <laughs> companies are doing this now because it's an ongoing problem. And this is a $48 swash plate, which I knew, uh, I wish I knew that. You know, I ordered one, figuring this one was bad, and... Uh, we just had to do this mod here so if anybody has this issue get yourself a number 50 drill a prick punch and uh, you can drill uh, actually with these we didn't even tap them because this aluminum is such cheap crap <laughs> that uh, you can the screw the aligned screw is harder than the aluminum so it actually Use a drill. We used a drill that was fifth, uh, five or six thousandths uh, smaller than the screw. So the screw is like six thousandths bigger than the drill, uh, and that way you can use the screw to self-tap. And we used the we layered the screw with the green high strength Loctite, and it actually threaded in good and locked down tight. And hopefully it won't come apart again. But uh, you know, guys, these helicopter companies have to start uh, putting a little bit more higher quality. I mean, this, as far as I'm concerned, this is 
guys are saying how high quality the Saab Goblin is. It isn't no more high quality than an Align T-Rex or anything else out there on the market. They all, all this stuff is coming out of all the same factories in China, guys. So, be aware if you hear any kind of a scuffing sound, check, take the swash out and make sure that that bearing hasn't come up out of there. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. And uh, like I said, use the screws from a feather, the uh, feather and shaft uh, from a 450 Pro in the washers. I'll actually put a, a little note on the uh, video there of what size those. I'll look in the Align manual and actually see exactly what size those are and post them for you guys. But it's definitely a job you can do yourself and uh, save yourself 50 bucks of having to buy a new one. So, thanks for watching.